generations ago, a global cataclysmic event scorched the world whole. Newly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth-shattering tectonic collapse, dismantling civilization whole. The world order was destroyed. History as we know it changed forever. But from the ashes, a new era began. Hundreds of years have passed. Humanity is now in the time known as After Calamity. Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are here with a new game, Project Wingman. And it is a spiritual successor to a game near and dear to my heart, Ace Combat. Sorry, that might have been a little bit loud. And I've seen a little bit of gameplay. It looks a lot like Ace Combat, so we're going to see. Uh... I don't mind a probably going to have to mess around with the controls a little bit because I've had my Thrustmaster plugged in and now I've got the controller plugged in. So we're going to see. We're probably going to reset the controls the and see what happens. So it looks... California is completely separated. The Creole Republic? Hell yeah, Louisiana took its own territory. Creoles for life. What the hell? Oh, God. So it looks like we're a mercenary group in essentially what is a post-apocalyptic calamity. Or post-apocalyptic uh, cataclysmic world. Uh, everything kind of got torn apart. A bunch of people made their own countries. So we're going to see what happens. We are on the Jesta Island chain, which I assume is off the coast of what was formerly Louisiana and the Gulf of Mexico. I think so. If you look at the latitude longitude, I'm not sure, honestly. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti And this is just the first the mission, so I'm not really sure where the story is going to take us. Group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. It's really interesting, Once though. Lands, I love seeing these, uh, superiority until the next stage of the not really, determined. like, other universes, but just, like, stories. Because you had Strange Reel for Ace so Combat, most of them, where you're in a, like alternate universe Normally, earth stay out of with different with countries so now we have but essentially what is a modern a warfighter so like it's taking place in today's time just Two birds a different with one past stone. easy enough right all now right get to work dismissed so let's see what we got start there we go it looks like my controller's working which is perfect i was going to try and play this game with the thrustmaster but it was not working so I'm going to go to my settings and reset everything because I assume my HOTUS probably completely, yeah, completely reset. Okay, there we go. Reset. Okay. Y'all, throttle, ooh, gun. Oh, I need to, okay. Whatever, start mission and we'll figure the controls out once we get into it, I suppose. We're just going to hop right in. And I'm going to run my wire over the back of my mouse because that's going to annoy me. All right, let's see what uh, aircraft we have. We have a T-21, so a MiG. Uh, it looks like it's designed to be anti-ground. It has a response rating of 1.9, max speed of 2,500. Is that knots? Is that... I don't know. Acceleration 55, roll rate. So it has a very similar rating system as Ace Combat. And then we have the T... F4 Phantom, which is a classic aircraft. Anybody who knows anything about Vietnam knows what this aircraft is. So let's see, we got one weapon, it looks like. Yeah, one weapon. That's the UGBL, which is an unguided JDAM. Uh, module selection flares. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to launch then and see what happens. Hopefully this game is as fun as a subject Hitman one. Hopefully this game is fun. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoy it. If you do enjoy it and you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. All right, so that's my y'all, which already doesn't make sense. I don't like that. 
Um, we might change that. Let's go ahead to controls and let's go access bindings and let's see, where's my y'all? First, this is going to be gamepad left, gamepad right. So that should, that makes, n oh, that's view. Oh, never mind. Reset. Okay. So let's go back to access y'all. So that should not be throttle. That should be my normal. So we'll do that. So that's left. That's right. So right, left. Um, there we go. I really don't want to do the whole view paddock thing, but it's probably going to annoy me. Oh, there's a whole, like, you can do it, like, four things. Okay, so thrust is going to be thrust. No, that should not be y'all. And that should also not be down, so that should not be inverted. So it should be up. And that should be down. Wait a second. That's not right. You, I don't care about, so we'll just do that. We're going to do that, just to get rid of them. You're going to be right, you're going to be left, so up, down. You, I don't really care, y'all can be A. So now you should be left, you should be right. Um, okay, that should be all we need for now, until we get back to the game. Alright, so we're going to hop in. That's my y'all again. What is wrong with this game and its controls? Alright, what is wrong with this game and its stupid controls? I do not like this already. Developers, fix your controls. Y'all... Yeah, that... No. Y'all does not need to be right trigger. Y'all right. So... Right should go only right. Left should only go left. Up down okay now we go back now we go back now we resume Get on the clock. So now that should increase our speed oh look at that that's gorgeous that should bring us back that should be gun that's our map that's missile um, that's our view that's flares that's Weapons. Okay. Oh, uh, we are on. Jesus, the controller is just vibrating constantly. Why is the oh? Why is the controller vibrating so much? Let's settings controls. Miscellaneous, maybe move. No, keep. Maybe maybe it's in gameplay. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the this thing is freaking. Uh, first person, is there anything about... Is there anything about the controller just constantly vibrating? Hat, hat, mouse, novice, axis, calibration... Like, all that works, it's just the, uh... Like, I'd, this freaking thing just should not be vibrating constantly. Like, if I kill it, is it going to keep vibrating? Is it because I'm locking on to something, and it's letting me know that I have a lock on, maybe? Um, gameplay, maybe it is. Maybe I just need to turn off something about locking. Curbs and dead zones, key bindings, weapon cycle, expand map... Range, change target, uh, is button face up. Okay, so that's our change target, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't see anything to do that, so ideally it just doesn't start doing that again. I hope. So, okay. That's not so bad. Let's see if we can't get some first person gameplay in here. So B was my launcher. 
Weapon system, weapon system. That's flares again. I, I gotta start remembering these new controls. So that's missile. Alright. Oh, that was beautiful. Gorgeous. Let's get some third person here. We're going in hot. Get that missile shot off and clean the hit. Killing it. Um, I think I would prefer Y. Oh, Y is our. Okay, what do we have over here? BC4. Is that a bison? Oh, that's. That's literally murder, what's about to happen here. That's. That's actual murder. I don't know if y'all know what a BC4 bison is, but it's a. What we just shot down was a prop plane. It literally never stood a chance. Got a missile lock there. The controller's doing the weird vibrate -y thing again. I think it's maybe just... I don't... I didn't see an option to just turn off vibrations in the game. Um, maybe there is an option just to turn off vibrations. And maybe I'll just have to do that. We got some AA targets here. Oh, wait. The vibrations went away. Is it only because I was at high speed? Does it vibrate at high speed? Is that what it is? Another bison. Oh, that was a damage. Was that my aircraft or theirs? This does play just a lot like Ace Combat, though. Like, if I played one mission of Ace Combat and then came to this, it would be a very similar... Very, very similar feel in the game. Ooh, that was a glitch if I've seen one. So we're gonna try and take all these PT boats out, I guess. Let's try and hit something with that uh, unguided bomb. See if we can't hit a PT boat with one of these bombs here. Coming in nice and fast. Ooh, we got him. We got him good. Yeah, the vibration, I think, is just based off of my aircraft. Hitting resistance, maybe? Because the vibrations definitely do get worse as I do some some of these banking turns. Another bison? Oh, I feel so bad almost. Like, it has a gun, but... Oh, it took a... That's a solid bison. It took a whole ass uh, sidewinder. Very well, senor. hit him with the JBL, shall we? See if we can't get a good picture of that. I think we only have like eight JBLs though, so I have to be careful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Alright, so I gotta remember how to swap our weapons. I would prefer it to be wise weapons, but I guess... I guess I can get used to that. I think Y is how we used to switch weapons. All that's left is one bison. Yep. Oh, somebody got hit by the bison, I guess. That bison's trying to get an air-to-air -air kill. That is a brave boy we got there. A brave, brave boy indeed. Ooh. No longer brave, though. So I can't look down on my third? Oh. Destroy those aircraft before they take off. So this, uh, what else do they got? They got some more phantoms coming in against us. So we're gonna try and do some actual dogfighting now. Oh, this game is so fun. Hey, does he have an F-15? Why do I get a phantom and he gets an F-15? Alright, let's do one thing here. I'm gonna unplug the controller because that vibration is killing me. Um, we're gonna go to gameplay. We're gonna look over here real quick. AOA module activation. Area of effect module, area of effect module camera type. HUD unit, knots and feet, HUD color, blue, cockpit color, blue, HUD, cockpit radar. Okay, so that's nothing I really care about, but I do care about some of these, like, view. Like, I should be able to just look up and down, right? Like, 
I should just be able to look up and down, left and right. I feel like if I do that, and then I do up and then down, I don't invert it, I feel like maybe that'll be okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now we're good. I think it just had to, uh... Ooh. Let's start doing our best here to not get shot down in the first game. Oh, this is so much like Ace Combat. Oh, the missiles actually track, though? Is this an F-15? You're telling me they're trying to get me to shoot down an F-15 from an F-4. Have you ever seen the F-4s? Oh, never mind. Ooh, missile, missile, missile. The F-15 is like one of the most, it, like, not advanced, but uh, it has like the highest kill record when it comes to aircraft currently. I do love the tracking, uh, the gun reticle. It's so much more easy to use than Ace Combat's gun reticle. I do like that. I do like the gun reticle. The colors are quite nice. I don't think that missile is gonna hit. Yep, that missile is definitely not hitting. That one did. Too close for missiles. I'm going for guns, goose. That wasn't in a phantom, I don't think, though. What's on this lighthouse? Are these extra... I'm gonna drop a bomb on that lighthouse. We're just gonna knock everything here down. Oh, getting used to these controls are gonna be rough. New target. Cargo is priority. Whee! We have any uh, unguided bombs left? got one, we're gonna hit it, then we're gonna look down and pull up, because we... Did it survive that? Okay, I see the game you're trying to play here. We'll survive that, how about that? There we go. This phantom is just gorgeous looking, I love the black paint job. Oh! happened oh maybe I shouldn't have dropped that bomb oh we have I guess it makes sense we're mercenaries because I see another f4 I see diplomats in a is that a SU 37, 27? I can't really tell. And then we have an F 15 and an F 14 Tomcat. Right, we got inbound. Oh, well. Very well. I guess we're not going to engage Master Goose. Is that their... Is that actually their names? Master Goose? Cascadia West. Is that, uh, California? I think those are inverted. Maybe that's why I'm having such a problem looking around, because 
I don't like this inverted nightmare. Oh my, look at the destruction. We incinerated that dock. That dock is legitimately incinerated. I love that. I didn't know that we would have that much destruction capability. Summary. So we get a summary just like before. The money came through from this contract, and our opportunity payout was eight thousand three hundred dollars. Um. Again, my controller was locked up in a vibration, so I don't know if that's my controller or the game. I typically turn off vibrations. Sicario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but very well. Let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, okay. as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down. Oh, that is California, so that's the Cascadian Independence Force. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia's a nation along North America's western seaboard. One of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but... There's a cruiser? country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, hmm. but I'm sure this hits closer to home. This game is really interesting. Moving I'm on. excited to see where it takes us, but unfortunately, I am out of time country. for today's as episode. As Thank y'all for joining me, and as always, we'll see you next time. Based on the Bye, guys. Networks, however.